so we're at the site of the Glen Rowan Inn where the siege took place. Uh, you can probably see some bollards behind me. That's where the police actually took cover to shoot up the, the place. It was obviously burnt to the ground. Uh, this all happened in uh, June 1880 and they captured Ned about 100 metres down the road which we're going to have a quick look at as well and then he was hung in Melbourne jail in November. So I'll just get a little bit of footage of the area. Um, yeah, probably won't stay here too long. It's got numbered systems, which is quite good on a little map that guy the post office gave us so you can go and find all the areas. But I'll flip the camera around and show you what we're looking at. So you can see here, this is the site. So this is a replica. The original, which was erected here in 1878. Front veranda to the inn in which the police laid siege on June 28, 1880, extended westwards from this place to the corner of Siege Street and Beaconsfield Parade. Yeah. So I guess they'll probably never allow this to be built on for historical purposes. And then you can see just over here, and again, you can see the numbered system. So it says one, Glen Rowan Inn. And then they've got some information about it. And then they've actually got like a floor plan of where the bodies were found and everything of the members of the Cali gang. I'm going to cross back over the road and you can see all these little uh, police bollards so basically they're saying this is where the police shelter position was so stay low and aim straight and then they've got the suits of armor Callie's gang's Achilles heel and then they're saying that a pistol was found here at this little pole. It says 11th of March 1997 though. Oh, that pistol sat there for that long? Day before my birthday. Or just unrelated, someone just dropped a pistol here. No. That's a bit it weird. Have been dug under or something. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought it'd be there for over 100 years. And then there's just some other bollards over here. Well, I go for a walk. Apparently there's a replica uh, train station down here. Um, yeah, this gimbal, the Osmo Pocket battery is probably going to die soon, so I'll try and get a little bit more footage of the area. Um, I was reading something before where they said that his um, armour, obviously 1880s, 1870s, he couldn't just go and buy armour then. Uh, it was all handmade by him and some blacksmiths, and it weighed 41.4 kilos. You imagine walking around with that much weight on you trying to evade police trying to get into a shootout and apparently he was shot 28 times I'm not sure how many of those actually hit his body or how many of those were you know like uh, deflected or stopped by the body armor uh, but still shot 28 times I'm sure it still would hurt a lot uh, and then obviously be alive still taken to hospital that's right, um, the prison going through the court system and then hung several months later I'll turn the camera around again. There's something over there as well. I think over there is where he was found, to my left. Uh, but there's a little station up here. So we'll have a look at that one. So we can see up here, this one's number six. So this is the, the Glen Rowan Railway Station. So I'm pretty sure they just made a little replica of this. This is probably where the police disembarked. So structure is a replica of the station building which stood on the exact site during the siege. It was where Ned received medical attention after he was shot and captured. He was then taken by special train to the jail in Melbourne. There you go. So an exact replica. The exact site anyway. Replica in the exact site. And you can see the current train line here. Which it looks like is still in use. I saw some lights active before. The signals, signal app. Signal signs or signal lights.
All right, and we go back. So I'm gonna run across over here, hun. Yeah, I just gotta do it before my battery dies. <laughs> Battery's still alive. There's a couple more things over here. I think across the road is where they actually found his body. So it probably only is about 100 meters. Yeah. So what's this part here? This is the gravel contractors enactment. In what? Encampment. Bailing up. Oh yeah, okay. A party of seven road gravel contractors were camped near this spot in four tents just outside the railway reserve. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure up here. So I've just crossed the road. The inn's just down the road there. I'm pretty sure what I'm walking to now is where they actually found and captured Ned Kelly. But we'll find out. There's a sign up here. I'll turn it around and we'll have a look. The flies are really bad here. Yeah. So this is where they captured him. Just in this area here. The end of the siege. The figure stopped, raising one foot onto a log Aiming and firing, shot after shot was fired at it, but without effect. So, you can see there's a little something over here as well. So, it says here, he was seriously wounded. Finally, of course there's a train, <laughs> right when I'm trying to talk. So you can see, the train line is still in use. It's going through right now. Basically it says, uh, seriously wounded Ned Kelly fell right here at this place and was captured. He was brought down by Sergeant Steele's double barreled shotgun fired from across the nearby creek and the creek's literally just there you can see the creek line here that's the creek line there so she was probably shot from I don't know 10 meters or so away with a shotgun and it's obviously not his real armor or anything that's just something they've put there to illustrate that his armor would be stored somewhere and then they've got this little thing here what's this the police lockup. The original Greta Police Lockup, first relocated to the Glen Rowan Township, and it was moved to this site when the nearby police station and residence was erected around. Yeah. This is like a little lockup. Have a look at this door. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, a tour of the Glen Rowan area, uh, or the Ned Kelly story. Uh, it's quite fascinating, you know, he's a bit of a, uh, a folk hero. He's definitely, you know, well known. And you know, he's such his life phrase, which some say might be his last words. Uh, you know, you see that around on the back of cars, even like uh, Ben Cousins, the football player, had it tattooed across his stomach. Um, yeah, that's interesting to see where it all happened. Uh, this is only probably a couple of hours, maybe three hours from where I live. Obviously, yes, yeah, a hundred years ago. Um, yeah, it's quite fascinating. The story behind it and, you know, what unfolded, where it unfolded. All right, so we're gonna head home now in the next 10 minutes. We've got a couple hour drive home and then that'll be the end of our two week adventure. I'm gonna make a lot of different videos of the places that I've been, so hopefully you enjoy these videos. 
Uh, and if you like this one and you want to see more good content, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, add some comments, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.